Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 5th of 2023. Well, it is titled NGC 1360, the Robin's Egg Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a planetary nebula. Now we've looked at many planetary nebulae before and we found that they really don't all look the same that there are a lot of differences between various ones. But overall, what they are are the end state of stars much like our own sun. And in fact, the vast majority of stars will go through this stage only the most massive stars will become supernovae and explode, leaving behind a much different type Type of a remnant called a supernova remnant. Here it's a much more gentle process where the outer layers are expelled out into space and we see those now surrounding the central white dwarf star. Actually in this case it's not just a white dwarf star but actually a pair of stars a binary system or two white dwarf stars close together orbiting each other. And we also consider that the depending on the number of stars there that might change the patterns that we see within the nebula. So that can adjust how things how things will look within the specific nebula. Now when we have two stars orbiting that may change the patterns in which we see. But what is a white dwarf star? Well, a white dwarf is what our sun will become many billions of years from now when it's gone through its life. Essentially, it is the core of the dead star and the outer layers. What we see as the nebula are the are the layers of the star, the outer layers that we're used to seeing now. When a star reaches the end of its life, the core compacts down to something about the size of Earth and the outer layers expand outward, eventually becoming less strongly held by the gravity of the central star and any instabilities can push those off into space. And that's what we're seeing here. Now, why do they glow? Well, that central core is extremely hot and that emits a lot of ultraviolet light. Ultraviolet light, very energetic, can excite the atoms of gas around it. In this case, the blue color is due to oxygen, not ordinary oxygen like the oxygen that we breathe. Individual atoms but we've seen in our atmosphere individual atoms give green light in the aurora. So these aren't just ordinary individual atoms. These are actually doubly ionized oxygen atoms. And those are oxygen atoms where you've ripped off the outer two electrons. There's enough energy there that those two electrons are kept off of the atoms. And it is that third electron within it that actually will jump through the energy levels. And as that one recombines, it gives off blue light. So while we often say that the each element has its own fingerprint of colors and spectral lines that help us to identify it, and that is very true, it's also true that each different ion that oxygen will have different lines than oxygen with one electron removed, and that will have different lines than oxygen with two electrons removed, and so on. So each different pattern gives us and tells us more about the energy states of this nebula. We know that it has to be extremely hot to keep two oxygen atoms electrons continuously removed from those atoms. So that was our picture of the day for August 5th of 2023. It was titled NGC 1360 the Robin's Egg Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be supernova remnant. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.